quick drive along I-35 in Georgetown and you'll see a new billboard, which is taking aim at the Confederate monument located on the square. The idea that our tax dollars go to the upkeep maintenance and equally the government has put in a place of prominence, this statue to the enemies of the United States is nonsensical, so it needs to go. The billboard was put up in partnership with the Southern Poverty Law Center and the local organization Wilco Patriots, which Jason Norwood is a member of. Their mission, to move the monument away from the square. The Confederacy stood against the United States. As a United States Army veteran, I am definitely against building monuments to any enemy of the United States, particularly one that killed more uh, United States Army soldiers, sailors uh, at that time than any enemy has to date. According to Norwood, this billboard puts more eyes on the monument and highlights the issue. To bring people who would otherwise be unaware to the problem that the problem exists. And then from there, we just ask that we be part of the solution. In the past, Williamson County voted to stay in the Union back during the Civil War, before the state ultimately seceded. The monument was put up in Williamson County in 1916, nearly 50 years after the war. Today, Confederate monuments continue to be removed throughout the nation. Recently, the massive statue of Robert E. Lee was removed in Virginia. Norwood feels it's time Williamson County joins this movement and removes theirs. It needs to go somewhere where tax dollars aren't being paid to upkeep it, and it is not in a place of prominence by said by our government. Somebody wants to put it on their front lawn, go right ahead. As the monument is on county property, Williamson County Judge Bill Gravel released this statement. In Williamson County, we continue to listen to the needs and requests of the residents. In this matter, Williamson County is still listening.